Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'd like to welcome you all to our residence. I'm as anxious as you are to hear some good music, so I'll be brief. Uh, I just would like to you know, provide some context for what we're doing here tonight. Uh, on one hand, we are celebrating Brazil's independence, which was uh, yesterday, the day, September 7th. Uh, but also today, we open the calendar of celebrations for next year's bicentennial of our in independence. And uh, we have a program for you here today, which departs a little bit from uh, what you know people are used uh, used to uh, in terms of Brazilian music. We have a program which was curated by conductor Daniel Lima, uh, who directed all the rehearsals of the music we're going to hear. And uh, his choice is present Brazilian and Brazilian-inspired classical music by composers from different eras and regions of Brazil. Some of them have strong connections with the United States, especially the great Heitor Villalobos and Osvaldo Lacerda, who studied with the great Aaron Copeland uh, in the 1960s here in the US. We also have a composition by Luis Pardal, a new composer, uh, presenting an example of contemporary music from the Amazon uh, region. And uh, I'm honored to recognize the presence uh, tonight of Dr. Tom Lovejoy, great friend of the Amazon, great friend of Brazil. Thank you for being here tonight, Tom. Uh, for this recital, we are fortunate to have with us four young, award-winning, and very talented musicians, Ilana Inselbuch, Nayung Kim, Olivia Chen, and Ramilia Saubanova. All the artists are associated with the Johns Hopkins University Peabody Institute, the oldest conservatory in the US established over a century and a half ago. Let me say just a few words about the first piece you'll hear, the great triumphal fantasy on the Brazilian national anthem. It was written in Rio de Janeiro in 1869 by Louis Moreau Gottschalk, a virtuoso pianist from New Orleans. We made a point of including this composition to reflect the long-standing ties between Brazil and the United States, one of our oldest friends in our hemisphere. Indeed, this concert is a tribute to our friendship with the United States, and also an, uh, an expression of our appreciation to each of you for your friendship and support. After the concert, we invite everyone to join us upstairs for a, a brief reception where everyone will have a chance to meet the musicians. So thank you once again, and I hope you enjoy our program. Thank you. Thank you. 
congratulate the four young musicians we had here. Uh, I think it's a testament to the universality of music, and including Brazilian music, that four young uh, ladies, you know, very talented, can play Brazilian music very difficult, not only with technical competence, which you saw, but also with passion, emotion, expressiveness, you know. So uh, before you go away, I'm going to give you the title of, you know, honorary Brazilians to every single one of you. Thank you very much. Congratulations.